Welcome to our channel Food Tech Talk. In this video, we'll be discussing previous year questions that were asked in Pondicherry University entrance exam for the subject Food Science and Technology, which is presented to you by me, Hepsiba. If you have any doubt or query, please mail us through the given mail ID. There is about 20 seats for food science and technology in Pondicherry University and the admission to these seats are totally based on the candidate's performance in the entrance exam. So without any further ado, let us go to the first question. Hurdle technology consists of a mixture of different ingredient from uniform quality product b mixture of different preservation techniques c using irradiation for increasing shelf life of the meat and d none of the above the answer to this question is b which is the mixture of different preservation technique hurdle technology is the combined use of several preservation techniques to make a shelf stable product with the improved quality and additional safety. Hurdle technology is also known as combined method technology. The term hurdle effect was first introduced by Lesner in the year 1976. Now let us move forward to the second question. Okay, this is matching the following question. Group 1 has rum, whiskey, brandy and group 2 First option is distilled from sacrificed and fermented grain. Second, distillate from grape wine. And third, distillate from fermented sugarcane juice. The codes are as given. So the answer to the second question is option A, which says that rum is a distillate from fermented sugarcane juice. Whiskey is a distilla distilled from sacrificed and fermented grain and brandy is distillate from grape wine. Rum is a liquor made by fermenting and followed by distilling the sugarcane molasses or juice. Whiskey is a type of distilled alcoholic beverage made from fermented grain mash. Various grains are used which includes barley, corn, rye and wheat. Brandy is a liquor produced by distilling wine. Generally, brandy has 35 to 60 percent of alcohol by volume. Let us move forward to our third question, which is as follows. Vinegar is defined as the condiment made from A. Juices of fruit, example apple and orange. B. Malted cereals such as barley starch. C vegetables example potatoes and d all of the above the answer to the third question is answer d which is all of the above vinegar is a condiment which is made from fruit as well as vegetable juices like fig gooseberry starchy cereals like rice malted barley date palm sap honey and sugarcane molasses our fourth question is, what is the optimum pH for acting sulphite as preservative? The options are A, 1.8, B, 2.4, C, 3.6 and D, 4.7. The correct option is B, which is 2.4. The optimal pH at which sulphite shows efficient antimicrobial effect is 2.4. Fruit purees can be preserved by adding sulfur dioxide at 600 ppm and sealing in drums. The semi-processed fruit can be stored for several months. For sulfite, the amount used is 350 to 400 ppm. Our next question is question number 5 which says, the unit operation in which fruit pe food pieces are coated with chocolate or other material is called A. Masking B. Both A and B C. Enrobing and D. None of the above The answer is C. Enrobing Enrobing is a process that involves 
covering a confection or snack with chocolate or chocolate coatings. Traditionally, this process is very slow and is done by manually dipping. So, because of the increased demand of chocolate coated sweets, it has become impractical or impossible to continue with the same. So, now enrobber machines are also available. Typical examples of enrobed products are wafer bars, fondant, jellies, nuts, biscuits and ice creams. Our question number 6 is the time required to destroy a given percentage of microorganism at a particular reference temperature is A. D value, B. F value, C. Z value and D. None of the above. This is particularly a very important concept which is usually asked in many entrance exams. So be clear with all the three values. So the answer to this question is answer number A which is D value. The full form of D value is decimal reduction time. This is the time required at a given condition example temperature or a set of conditions to achieve a log reduction that is to kill 90% of or one log of relevant microorganisms. Next is the Z value. Z value is the number of degrees the temperature has to be increased so that we can achieve a tenfold reduction in our D value. The F value for a process is the number of minutes required to kill a known population of microorganism in a given food under a specified condition. Usually our F value is 12D value or 12 log cycles to obtain reduction in the most resist heat resistant species of mesophilic spores in a can of food. That is for a canned food the, the F value is 12D to kill the Clostridium botulinum spores in canned food. Our next question is question number 7 which is the glass transition temperature of chicken is A. 16.63 degrees Celsius B. Minus 10.23 degrees Celsius C. 10.23 degrees Celsius and D. Minus 16.63 degrees Celsius The answer is D which is minus 16.63 degrees Celsius Glass transition temperature is the temperature at which there is a phase change from rubbery to glassy phase in food material. Usually it is denoted as Tg. The glass transition temperature is denoted as Tg and it is calculated by using DSE that is differential scanning calorimetry. This glassy nature of food item is studied to understand the frozen stability and to determine the shelf life of a product. Our next question, question number 8 is The key component in onion is A. Quercetin B. Lycopene C. Trans resveratrol and D. Lutein The answer is A. Quercetin Quercetin and quercetin glucosides are the major flavonols present in onion and the allium species and are predominantly present in the following forms Quercetin, quercetin 3, 4 dash diglucoside and quercetin 4 dash glucoside. Our next question, question number 9 is the antimicrobial substance nisin is produced by A. Lactobacillus bulgaricus B. Lactobacillus plantarum C. Lactobacillus lactis subspecies lactis and D. Lactobacillus brevis. And the correct option is C, which is Lactobacillus lactis, subspecies lactis. Nisin is the polycyclic antimicrobial peptide produced by the bacterium Lactococcus lactis or Lactobacillus lactis, which is used as a food preservative. Our next question is the higher amount of POFA found in A. Coconut oil. B. Ghee C. Olive oil and D. Safflower oil The answer is D which is safflower oil In all this oil the PUFA which is predominant is linoleic acid 
and it is abundantly found in coconut oil to safflower oil but it is more found in safflower oil which is about 74.6 percentage while in coconut oil it is present in the amount 1.56 percentage friends i hope this video will facilitate your preparation for the entrance exam if you like the video please click on the like button share it with your friends do remember to hit the subscribe button